Hello guys, this is Nick here and I'm gonna have this is a video of me showing off what's in what the wall swells and all my multiplayer DLC comes with. Yeah. And it shows that, you know, I have all characters maxed out and lots of money, because who doesn't love money, you know? <laughs> so yeah. Wallace. What can I say to him? What can I say about him that's not been said in this game? He should have been playable. And when he is playable, he's just a carbon Steven Stills ripoff. And I'm in this video I show off the his moves. It's just basically Stevens, basically. This is not gonna be long at all. Just me starting off the flying Tengu because let's just say let's just face it, this music is fucking bitching. It's probably it's one of my favorite songs in the game actually. And a and, uh, little difference between uh, Wallace and Steven is that when he uppercuts, it's a uh, rainbow because uh, Wallace is gay. If you don't, read, if you didn't read the books or watch the movie, you probably wouldn't know that. But yeah, that's all I have to say about. Wallace. He's just, you know, if, you, if you're a big fan of the character, then get him. I kind of cheated my way to get him maxed out really quickly. And here's uh, his little battle, like, screen anime, uh, artwork. Just him holding a gl uh, glass. And his little bowing animation, which I think is the only cool thing about Wallace that you can play. And the little different, and the little uh, fire thing he does instead of the tornado, which I thought was really good. And wonder what this is. <gasps> Two Wallaces. The fuck? And his little ton is him drinking it. It's not really good. It's not really good animation. Kind of shows that this DLC was high, uh, focused highly on the online multiplayer. And if you just go to find shop, you get that, and the wrench, and the techno base anymore, I don't know why, and here's his ending, it's basically nothing, which kind of makes me not want to play Wallace a lot, I guess, and so Wallace got drunk as much as he did, now that Scott is out of his house, or out of his, uh, you know, he's not watching over him anymore, you know, huh. It's an okay ending if you like uh, endings that suck. Definitely one of the worst endings in this game, by the way. And here's an online match I did with a level 1 Kim. And I'm a fully maxed out Scott. And this is where I'm going to talk about the online multiplayer, which you're, when you get this DLC, you're probably getting it for the online multiplayer, so yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, longer loading screens now, so... Just in case you love long loading screens. So yeah, what can I say about the online multiplayer? It's good when it's good, it's bad when it's bad. Like, there's this glitch where sometimes you are a pink square and in a few seconds, you cannot get out of the game or online match until you literally had to press the PlayStation Home button to exit out the game, then go back to the game. That's the biggest glitch that the online multiplayer has. And sometimes, sometimes. Oh, by the way, this person sucks. By the way, sometimes the characters don't want to move, or they just don't want to move forward because they like to ha just like punch the air and shit, which is quite annoying. And this person doesn't. Even this probably person just played Scott, and that's basically it. I mean, you do get a character if you beat all the characters, you know, that's the game, but... Eh. I mean, the only multiplayer, this DLC was announced like in August, and it says, oh, that's not the right day for it. I kept on getting delayed and delayed and delayed, and you saw my video that I removed because it finally happened. I thought that it was going to keep getting delayed, and yeah. 
it finally came out and I'm excited. I had to beat the game as Steven first. I mean Wallace first. Getting that trophy. Oh yeah, yeah, there's four new trophies, but the majority of the trophies are the online stuff, like complete your first online match, uh, play as everyone online except for uh, Wal uh, Nega Scott and Knives, and uh, defeat uh, 200 enemies online, which I got all these in like, only got three of them in one day, I didn't want to get all of them in one day, you know? So what can I say that there hasn't been anything said? I mean... It just, it's just, you know, the game online doesn't feel like you're, it feels, it doesn't, this game feels like it would have had online, but it was a feature that had to be cut because of uh, budget issues, that they want this game to be out when the movie came out. Thank you for, thank you Brian O'Malley for telling us that on your website. Good to know that this game was about to have online in the first place, but didn't really but didn't because of uh, online issues so I didn't want to show the whole online match because this is like fucking 13 minutes long so so yeah you can have up to f uh, four players just like any just like the uh, local co-op bad thing about this is the more uh, players you have the more laggy he's gonna get so if you want to have an online match that's like not laggy at all, you have to have two players, which is kind of boring because I did play with a four-player match, and, it, and sometimes it can be laggy, sometimes not. And when this, I was about to question this DLC. I'm like, oh, should I want, should I get this? Because I played Sonic for up to two uh, co-op in a Simpsons Arcade co-op online, Ner laggy as fuck, and I'm like. If this game has laggy uh, co-op, I'm I'm gonna hate myself for buying this. But it seems to be a mixed bag, which is cool, I guess. To wrap up this video, I'm gonna say, if you haven't bought buy bought this already, uh, do it with caution. Like try the trial mode. Yeah, like what, like uh, the first level is free online, but I didn't really test it the Monday before I got it because nobody wanted to go online because it's just one level but you know I really do I, I bought this because I love this game and I want to play because my brother and because I don't have friends I don't uh, my brother says will not play with this with me forever you know so it's nice that to have this feature now I have to say it's not really worth the five bucks and the price is probably the biggest issue. It's not worth it. It, it now glitches up your game and stuff. So. I haven't seen the game freeze on me in a while, but the game has freezed on me online once. So if you really want this, get it. If not, it's not a big deal if you don't want this. But if you just got this game now, you didn't get the... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention for PS3 owners that uh, you can get a ultimate bundle which you get the free with you get the full game knives and the online multiplayer and wallace pack you basically get knives free it's only 15 bucks it's good if you didn't if you judge this game over the fact that it has no online multiplayer but it's fun it's it's a fun game alone with friends near you and with people online so yeah that's my video on the dlc get it if you if you really think that you're going to play this game a lot if not Totally okay. You can add me on uh, PSN. The username is Sangini Nuyasha because I have nothing original. I have no original usernames for PSN or any website whatsoever. So join me. I play this game a lot now, even more than I should. I usually I play this game like five hours a day now because of the because of the online. So yeah, I'll be seeing you online on the Skypoon game. Thanks for watching.